Well, it came from the whole sort of um, all of the bad press about the one commercial street in Oldgate, um, where the new development actually had a separate entrance for the social housing tenants and a separate entrance for the private housing. And the private housing has um, chandeliers and it's all a really posh marble floors and everything. And the other side, um, it's like a dark, dingy alleyway in a way. And it's a really divisive phenomenon, really. And it's kind of reminiscent of the Victorian era. So I thought that would be uh, a good title to bring the show together. I've been making work for about three or four years about housing, um, mainly because of my own frustration with it, really, and wanting to make a point about it. But I think when there's a group of you, your voices can be louder. As a collective, you can make a stronger point. So I wanted to find other people making similar work that would bring the whole thing uh, bigger and louder, really. I started working on this series about a year and a half ago um, and it was really when I noticed how many amazingly beautiful empty buildings, long-term empty buildings we have in London um, and the amount of homeless people we have in London and I was just thinking, you know, it seems like such a paradox to have the two existing. Um, this piece that I've done is a representation of one of the empty mansions on Billionaire's Row in North London um, and it's, you know, although it's fitted out with luxury fittings and chandeliers, the council actually said that the water had never even even being turned on um, you know it's absolutely crazy and I, when I was reading about the stats on homelessness it's like as you said there's you know 22,000 empty homes sitting empty in London um, you know the amount of young people sleeping rough has actually more than doubled in the past five years um, and I just thought you know as an artist what can I do I want my art to reflect that um, and to actually use my art as a form of activism um, and campaigning and it's really good to be part of this Specifically with my work, what I've tried to do is um, when with this one, with both of them, you can actually turn the lights on within the building. So I kind of wanted to see, um, you know, people who saw my art to feel like they could do something. And whether that's, you know, that's a really simple thing with the paintings, but it's kind of trying to put the viewer in a sort of very empowered position to think, actually, I can do something about this.